The electric power system is one of the largest man-made systems in the world. It enlightens our planet by night and provides billions of people with electric energy. Its power lines stretch entire continents. They are subjected to extreme conditions like rain, ice and heat. Rain is one of the main contributors to so-called corona loss in the transmission path. In fact, every single raindrop produces a small energy loss. Corona loss originates from water drops at the conductor surface. Due to the electric field, they form tips. These themselves enhance the electric field locally and create low energy sparks. A collaboration of researchers at ETH Zurich try to understand and predict this phenomenon. When I first got in touch with Professor Frank and talked about this massive project, I was fascinated and thrilled by the simplicity of the underlying question. That is, what happens when a water drop impacts a surface at high potential? And how can we affect the outcome by engineering the surface? You might be familiar with how water drops are soaked into a sponge. This is what we call superhydrophilic behavior. The water directly builds a film on the surface. Or you might know how water drops behave on the leaves of a lotus flower. They bounce back directly. This is what we call superhydrophobic. This is the heart of a test setup. A syringe pump generates drop at a constant size that when dispatching from the needle, accelerate in the shielded cylinder, fall through the upper electrode, and then hit our sample at the bottom. I can influence the size and the speed of the droplets by adjusting the height of the needle inside, and I can also change the size of the needle. The actual drop impact I film with this high-speed camera that can do 40,000 frames per second, so we can analyze what happens in great detail. Conducting the experiments is actually fun work to do. At first, upgrading the test setup, getting the drops to fall through the hole was a very challenging and tough task. But now that everything runs, sitting in front of the cage and seeing how every drop behaves a little differently, especially for the hydrophobic surfaces, how they disintegrate into these beautiful drop shapes, is like an art. Indeed, I found that the most water repellent surfaces produce discharges at very low voltages. This is due to the detachment of various small droplets after the impact. In contrast, superhydrophilic surfaces do not dissipate energy at all. The drops are directly soaked into the material. However, if the electric field is high enough, they can already disintegrate during the full spark and cause a breakdown in my experiment. The basic studies done by me and other researchers at ETH contribute to more silent and efficient power lines. Our goal is to reduce the losses in the power system so that the transmission of renewable energy becomes feasible for long distances. Thereby, we do our bit to tackle climate change and preserve our beautiful homes.